All right, we're leaving Bay. We're going to OU. So you left Bay. Um, now, at this point, was art your passion or not? Was it just one of the things you did? It wasn't really did? anything I was, you know, thinking I'd make a living at. You know? Yeah. I was going to OU to be, you know, a, an engineer of some kind. And, yep. and I did great at all the creative things of figuring out how to, you know, how would you solve this problem? And I think on one of our projects, we had to figure out a wheelchair that would go upstairs. And I came up with this three-wheeled wheelchair that would the wheels would rotate and go up the stairs and drive it up the stairs and funny enough i think i saw one on tv like a couple of weeks ago <laughs> yeah the guy's gonna be a billionaire yeah you probably find the teacher that taught me yeah you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i had no math brain and you know no way to show the you know how much torque stress or whatever you needed to you know prove yeah. that this thing isn't going to go backwards and kill the poor guy that's on it right or something like that. right you know so you know after a couple of quarters of Actually, I think they you know they had two halves of the year. Sure. So after the first half of the year, I was like, you know what, this math thing is not going to work. Out. <laughs> you know, but then so, it was architecture, wasn't it? Well, I wanted to be an architect back in high school. You know, okay. because I always used to dream up you know houses and things to do yeah. about that. When you were yeah. But they didn't really have an architecture program, and you know before and one of my and Dave Ritt. I don't know if you know Dave. Yeah. Ritt. Yeah, Dave Ritt was into the art school, so he was living in the same dorm, and I was thinking, you know, oh, he looks like he's having pretty much fun, and, and you know, I'm good at art, and mm-hmm. I'll go take some art classes and, you know, see what that, you know, whether that's a good way to go, so, you know, there... And off it started. And, and I just started doing the art classes and doing good in it and getting great grades and took all different kinds of sculpture and, you know... Yep. Uh, pottery, big, you know, because they were big in pottery down, you know, in southern Ohio. They had sure. that Brookwood and all that stuff in the area, and there's so there's a lot of pottery going on there, but not so much. The fine art was, you know, photography, watercolor, sure, just painting and things like the that. the tradition I mean, stuff. Yeah, I mean, if I had half a brain, I, you know, I probably would have said, hey, Dad, maybe I should go to like CCAD or something like that. You know, the Columbus College of Art and Design. Yeah, the, the high end stuff. You know, something else, but you know. Well, let me ask you, did you worry and did people warn you that... Starving artist thing? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I was too stupid to know any better. You, <laughs> you know? were too passionate is what it was. It. That's the word yeah. I was looking for. It's close yeah. to stupid. But, yeah. I can uh, say you were too stupid, but you have to say I was passionate about it. I just think that, you know, that to me it was, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. When you were young, did you have like this... You, had, you felt like nothing can really stop you from right. doing whatever you want to do. Exactly. So I just did it. And it, to me, I was never worried about, even when I graduated, I, I, you know, I got in a car and drove to Chicago and just was like, had this fantasy that I'd be living in this fancy apartment. <laughs> yeah, that you partially designed, you yeah, know. You know the, and yeah. all this stuff and it, everything would be great. And with a special wheelchair in the corner that somebody <laughs> could go up the stairs if they had to. In case I had some handicapped <laughs> visitors that needed to fly. 